Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and if you guys, episode one of our Sphere Biome Survival Let's Play. So I decided now that we're doing Dungeon Runner, we'd move on to this game, and then after this, we're probably going to end up doing Skygrid. The reason why I didn't start off doing Skygrid initially is because I kind of wanted a little bit more Minecraft experience doing these kind of Let's Plays and Adventure Maps before I go into something like Skygrid, which is very, very... Very difficult, I guess you could say. It's probably one of the more difficult maps out there. So I decided I'd do this kind of as a little trial run. It probably won't take long, maybe take like 10, 15 parts, and then I'll move on to Skygrid. But yeah, so here we go. We're on Spear Survival. Now, as I said before, if you watched my actual uh, showcase of this map, there's about 30 different types of challenges for this, but they're all relatively simple, and uh, I'm just going to go around and do them all right now. So he starts you off for some reason with over 50 bottles of enchanting. I guess that's just kind of... I guess they just do that so that you have a way of kind of getting on the levels you need, enchanting your gear. I'm not really sure why they do that. It might even be a mistake. But whatever the reason is, I'm just going to keep them all. And they also scatter them throughout the map in various chests. So hopefully we can find all the obsidian as well as the bottles of enchanting. But yeah, so basically, if you guys didn't know already from it, I'll show you guys exactly what's going on here. We have all these challenges to do. And then if you dig into the earth a little bit like this, you'll find that there's a bunch of not only stone, but if you go down even deeper, you can even find things such as... Uh, uh, coal, you can even find redstone, gold, and diamond, and iron as well. So you can pretty much find any single type of ore that you would like. They're all scattered throughout the earth down here. It's kind of set up just like that. And obviously, one of the main features of this map is that it is a sphere. That's uh, <laughs> pretty good. If you couldn't catch on to that, maybe this isn't the let's play for you. I, I, I would probably suggest something a little easier. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. I'm pretty excited about doing this. It's fun. And I'm also going to do this side by side with Island Craft. Don't worry, neither should interfere with the other. And hopefully, I'll have both episodes of that up today with a new episode of Island Craft and a new episode of this today. Alright, let's see. Come on. There we go. Six. Now, I'm still looking. I'm trying to get all the obsidian that I need. I'm not sure where the other ones are. It looks like there might just be one left. And because I'm going to need it eventually, and I don't feel like remaking anything, I'm just going to place this chest way at the top here. Now, if you're wondering, they're really... Oh, well, I mean, we already have one. Oh! Oh, baby! Look at that! Oh, that was bad placement. I was saying, oh baby, because they had the new chest there with all sorts of items, and why do I feel like I didn't check this one? No, I did. Okay, wait a minute. Are you, you're the eighth one. Perfect. I think it's all the obsidian that you probably need, so I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm set. I'm just going to put that in there for now, and we have quite the number of items here. Uh, as you can tell, I mean, we've got melons, which are perfect. We have ice, which we're going to need eventually, a lava bucket, sugar cane, basically a lot of everything. So I'm going to be a little bit careful there because I don't want to lose the lava or the water, and I'm going to have to, I guess, be very careful when I go to make a cobblestone generator if that's what I do, or perhaps I'll even just make water and uh, forget about it. I don't think, is a cobblestone generator a goal on here? No, just by doing a quick glance, it doesn't look like a cobblestone generator is, so I don't really gotta worry about that. One thing I do gotta worry about, though, is getting a, oh, whoopsies, first, let's make sure, okay, we're on easy. I was gonna say make sure mobs can spawn, but the thing I do gotta worry about is definitely getting enough wood throughout this entire let's play, so whenever I get saplings, I pretty much have to take very good care of them, and uh, I have to start placing them around, I guess you could say, so that I can make sure they grow. But yeah, the thing I like about this map is just the different biomes it has to it. You know, it's a small spherical map, and then it's divided in different areas. The mushroom area, the desert area, the snow area, and like a little forest woodland area. I personally, I think it's really awesome that they were able to do it. And I think it's a really cool map, so I'm pretty happy about this. Now let's see, what can we do here? Let's grab some more wood then, and perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a wood pickaxe, and uh, hopefully I can use that to... Uh, well, I guess, yeah, we're just going to build a wood pickaxe for now. Hopefully, then get stone pickaxe, maybe a little bit more. And I might set up the... Well, actually, let me think now. The nether portal... Actually, eight obsidian isn't enough. Where does it expect me to get the rest of the obsidian from? See, this could be a problem. Oh, you know what I need to do? I probably need to make an infinite water source using my ice blocks in here. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that for now. So, let's let's try and get an area where I can set up an infinite water source. So, we're going to dig... Here, you only need to do four blocks, so we're going to go here now. Perfect. We'll get you here. I'm trying to remember, if I break that, does it turn into water, or is that just bad memory? Oh, God, I'm scared now. I'm scared. Okay, you know what? We're just going to do it. Break it. Come on, let's go. Perfect. Wow, I kind of just took a big risk there at the beginning of this Let's Play, and it turned out not to be horrible. And perfect. Looks like we have an infinite water source. Now all we need to do is... You know, we can even save that lava bucket for now. We can just get our own bucket by getting uh, getting a good old pickaxe working. And you know what? We need we need a nice little setup here. Let's let's get ourselves a crafting table. We have the chest, but we're definitely gonna need some kind of cover. So you know what? We're gonna put you right here. Perfect. 
And let's let's build our cover. We'll just make it out of dirt for now. We don't really need anything too serious. All we're trying to do here is just make a little thing for when nightfall comes. And uh, then, of course, we're going to make it a little bit nicer after that. I'm pretty sure one of the goals, actually, yeah, one of the goals is build a nice house with a fireplace. So don't worry. That's not going to be our permanent residence like it is pretty much in Island Craft. Which, by the way, I have a surprise. I'm going to fix it up as soon as I'm done with the railway and I'm done with the mob spawner. I'm going to build the house really nice. It's going to look completely awesome. So uh, don't worry about that. That'll all be fixed up pretty soon. But if you're more so just going to watch this Let's Play and don't have any clue what I'm talking about when I say my Island Craft Let's Play, then don't worry about it. We're going to fix this up pretty nicely very soon. Uh, we just got to get our bearings. I guess you could say down so let's try and get a little place to live now just for now and uh, then we'll be able to move on from there all right there we go so it's fairly small this house but that's all right we don't really need anything too serious we need a little bit more dirt than that though that's one thing we do need we do need a little bit of dirt all right so let's keep going here now I'm so glad I was able to successfully get that water source there. I can't believe I almost forgot to make an infinite water source. It just—it didn't even click in my head. I'm just like, yeah, so what are we going to do then? We only got two things. I, I'm such a dumbass sometimes. That's one thing you'll quickly learn about me if you're new to my channel. is I am probably one of the biggest dumbasses when it comes to video games. But I love them anyway, and I have a great time playing. I just I act very stupidly, and... Uh, that's just my little thing, I guess. I, I guess I just, I wasn't meant for video games. I don't know. No, I, I, I honestly, I love video games with all my heart. I just sometimes I need to, I need like a little like a reality check because I'm so, I just, I do the stupidest stuff sometimes. And oh man, there's a skeleton up there. That's our first enemy mob. Luckily, he's not coming after us, even though we haven't really finished our shelter yet. This is probably like prime time for him to come at us. But hey, as long as he's not coming after me, I'm happy. And, uh. Alive as well. That's always a good observation to make. As long as I'm alive, that's always good. All right, now what can we do here? Put that there. Perfect. Now we can also build a little bit of a door using this. So, one, two. Whoopsies. I did not mean to click weirdly like that. My good mouse kind of ended up breaking the other day because I dropped it and I was really sad. I'm like, what the fuck, really? Because what kind of mouse just explodes like that? But it more or less exploded into like a million pieces. So, um,. I'm using my bad mouse for now until I can get a new one. I have to stop by and either go to a store. My local campus center has one for my college, so I don't know which one I'm going to do. I might just go to a store, though, because I don't think I'm going to trust the college mouses. You know, I'll, pro I'll, probably, I'll probably just go to... Holy fuck, what does he want? No, get away, get away. Okay, so apparently they mean business here. But yeah, I'm probably just going to go to, like, Best Buy or something along those lines. All right, so let's dig down then, and uh, hopefully we can get away from those evil mobs that, that want to kill me. They're so mean to me. There we go. Wow, this house is really tiny. In fact, there's, like, really nothing going on in this house. Nothing good can come out of a house like this. I'm just going to turn up the brightness, hopefully, so you guys can see. Put it all the way. Because as of now, there's really nothing to... Holy shit. You know what, actually? This isn't a bad idea, making a back entrance to the house like that. Because the mobs probably won't be smart enough to follow it. And then we can also go dig down by daylight. Oh, my God. Let's see. Yeah, I see. If I, and I can just sit in here then. I can either kill him or I can just burrow it up if I needed. Either one works. Yeah, by the way, it looks like killing him is probably going to be easier. But you know what? It's going to take a little while. So let's put you there. And just for the sake of timing, let's go with getting a sword. Perfect. Come on. Now what you got on me? Kill. Holy shit. No, no, no. I just finished building my house. You are not destroying it. Mr. Grimmer, no! Oh my god. He actually just tried to destroy my infinite water source. Holy shit. These mobs are everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck, man? These guys are everywhere. Holy crap. Holy crap. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is horrible. No. Holy crap. These guys. What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna take this soul sand then and clog this up down here. What the fuck? Jesus, they're everywhere. They took my wood, too. I'm going to have to make a run for it. Either I'm going to have to make a run for it, or... You know what, actually, I don't need to make a run. For it. I need to jump up here. And then I just go, 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 GG. Oh, my God. They're everywhere. They're even down there as well. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, shit, there's an obsidian. Oh, my God. That creeper almost just blew up that obsidian block area. Holy crap, holy crap. Let's go around here. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. I have to find the wood that I had dropped. The wood I dropped from when I died initially. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? Oh my god. I think it's all down there. This is ridiculous. I have no clue what I'm supposed to do. Come on. Come on. Give me that give me that dirt back. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay, you know what? There's only one 
thing I can do then. I just gotta work on the interior of my house for now, at least till the end of the day when, uh, or at least till the end of the night, I guess you could say. So let's go in here now, block that up. Perfect. Alright, so we're gonna have to stay inside this house then for the remainder of the time. And I'm just sad because I lost my wood now, and I really, I needed that wood, you know what I mean? That was my, that was my jam. How am I supposed to do anything without the wood? That's alright though, let's see. Do I, I don't have my wood pickaxe either, so I can't really even do too much. You know what I can do? I can work on developing my tunnels. What the fuck? He is glitched through the wall, really? Apparent, oh, I swear to God. No. Skeleton. I don't, oh my God. Did he blow up? What just happened? Holy shit. Holy shit. Do I tempt him? No, no, I'm done tempting him. What's out this window? Uh, okay, bye. Holy shit, he can punch me through the door now? That must be, is that new to Minecraft? Or was that, oh my god, I forgot he can break down doors. Holy shit, or was it only on hard that they can break down doors? Let's hope. Oh, thank god, it's only on hard that they can break down doors. What the fuck? That would have been awful. Oh my god, I, I don't even know how to escape from here. I like, need to wait till daytime to get out of here. There's nothing I can do here, you know? We're gonna put you back. We can keep the rotten flesh as food and holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Oh my god, no. There goes part of my house. No, please. Oh my god, there's so many mobs that they're all even killing each other. And oh shit, there's all that ores and stuff. He just blew a hole in the ground. So at least I know where some of the ores are. Come on, just let me back inside. Just let me get back. Holy shit, there goes my, there actually goes my house. What the fuck? This last place going to shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay, that's it. I'm gonna have to find a place where I can just... Oh my god, there's two creepers in that hole. I was trying to find a safe place to call it for the night, and, uh, and then just wait till the next time. Oh my god, they're everywhere. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? These mobs are insane. You know what? That's it. We're putting it on peaceful. Fuck. That is ridiculous. I couldn't take it anymore. That was just unnecessary. You know what? I'm going to restore this house to its former glory, and we learned a lesson. We are not prepared to put this thing on easy mode yet. No. This is staying on peaceful until I actually make something of myself. There we go. There we go. Perfect. My god, the air, everything. That was just, that was crazy. I've never seen mobs like that before. That was, that was uncalled for, man. All right, so let's build this right here then. There we go. Just like a little bit of a build area then. Perfect. It's not it's not amazing, but it gets the job done. And we no longer have a door, but that's fine cuz there's no mobs really running around. What the actual fuck though? Let's let's try and evaluate the damage. Hopefully, I don't know if this hurts my infinite water source, but I really hope not. Let's see. No, I still have an infinite water source. So that happens. Awesome. But I did apparently lose all my wood, everything, unless I can find some. At the end of the day, though, not the end of the world, because I'm pretty sure we got a ton more resources, a lot of dirt. As you can tell, we got a little bit of cobble. Did find one of our sticks, which is, I guess, nice. I mean, I would have rather had everything. Oh, there's our stuff. Thank God. We got all of our stuff back and more. So I guess at the end of the day... Holy shit, we even found diamond. Wow. So at the end of the day, that really wasn't that big of a deal. We found diamond on our first day. And, uh, well, that's nice. We're gonna mine that up first thing tomorrow's part. Let's make sure I found my door, too. Holy shit, not bad at all, actually. You know what? As scary as that was for the first night, as soon as I turned it to peaceful, things just kind of turned out for the better. And I, I'm, I'm glad they did turn out the way they did. And holy shit, I'm missing part of the mushroom. No, please. Why would they do that to my mushroom? Oh, my God. Tons of redstone, too. Well, alrighty, it looks like we uh, we did pretty good there. Hopefully, once again, on tomorrow, by the end time tomorrow's episode ends, we'll be able to put this thing on easy mode and uh, move on from there. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the first part. I know it was a little bit crazy. Hopefully, we can keep it as crazy. <laughs> and uh, hopefully, we have a good time playing. So thank you guys once again, and have yourselves a good night. Good night, everybody. Stay tuned for more in the future.